Well, that was uh, embarrassing. I forgot to hit the start button. Well, time to go back and um, explain what I'm saying. Okay, so 40 by 40 was just an arbitrary number I tossed out. And for this one that I'm going to do here, it's going to walk over 40. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And that's where I place the torch. So, yeah, I did that four times and placed four torches along this wall and one up top because I want, I, I want to be able to see where the corner is from above. And this time I decided to just like dig its thing up because I'm marking a perimeter. I'm not actually starting the actual hole right now. Oh, I forgot to take that one out. Okay then. So, I went over another four and then I um, marked my way over another four to here. Which, as you may have noticed, is water. Yeah. For this particular uh, excursion, I'm actually going to fill in the uh, water with dirt and then just dig it back out. Why? Because I want to make a true open pit. Emphasis on pit. Like all of the pit. So, starting here, we go over 40. Which is actually just going to go back to where we started because we've already done three sides carefully measured out. Now it's just to finish going over. So we don't really need to bother counting. But since we're placing torches every 10th block, except for that one, that's just five. Might as well count to 10. One, two, three, all right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ah, uh, yeah. Hmm, dirt is here. Actually, you know what? For this part of it, I am going to start reclaiming dirt. Because I am um, running out of dirt blocks. I didn't actually dig up that much dirt earlier. This dirt I only placed so that I could um, fill in the water and get rid of the water. So, reclaim it and use it to fill in a different amount of water because why the heck not? Ah, yes, here's the part where the sand ends and the dirt begins. Alrighty then. This is also a lot easier when you can actually see what you're doing. Oh yeah, and I see what we do, what you're doing. We mean, oh yes, it is down there. Just keep going, going, and going, going. Fill in the water, dig it up again. To be honest, though, this is actually a procedure you can do underground from the underside when you have a uh, hole where you just happen to have water coming in through your ceiling. The trick is you have to be able to swim and get to where you need to place the blocks by swimming without drowning in a cave underwater. In real life, that is actually quite challenging. In Minecraft, you have, shall we say, um, the same problems in, in terms of not being able to simply surface when you need to which 
you know, you have to plan your actions so that you don't end up drowning. In Minecraft. I mean, you know, the same logic applies to real life. It's just, real life has a, um... Well, you can't respawn in real life. Let's put it that way. Hmm. Anyway, though. That should be enough dirt place to be able to move over. One. Oh, hey, look. I missed a spot. Whoops. Alright. One, two, three, four. Uh, I missed a few spots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Really? Number ten is the last one? Ugh. <sighs> yeah, of course it would do that. Why wouldn't it do that? Alright, now to dig out this area in the middle. Uh, but first we need another, more shovels. I actually started with several shovels. Oh, and hey, while I was here, and a squid dive. Hmm. In the box with that squid ink. I am going to use the box to store anything and everything that I am not going to be using right now. So, sticks, got them. Oh yeah, that's right. I, need, I needed to pick up the cobblestone out of the box. So, for shovels, you don't actually need a lot of stone for shovels. For this uh, stage of things, I'm going to make a ridiculous number of shovels because I'm going to need them later. And so, you know, I'll just leave the cobblestone in the inventory. <sighs> Alright, so. We know where the perimeter is going to be. It says here. Um, in my inventory, I do not have enough dirt to finish filling this hole, so it's time to uh, begin the excavation stage. We'll get back to filling this in later, uh, but first we are going to excavate. One thing with doing really, really long uh, stretches like this is that simply being able to hold down the button and just keep going makes it a lot faster. And sometimes results in you accidentally breaking the tool instead of stopping at the right time to be able to uh, uh, merge it with a different tool. Admittedly, this is a minor inconvenience rather than a serious problem, but it is mildly annoying. It's more something to keep in mind and work with than something to dread. Because quite frankly, eh, it's about whether you do it right. That's all. And also is that you can actually just like stare at the uh, HP meter on the shovel as it slowly uh, uh, shrivels away to nothing. All right, this one is deep into the orange and nearly turning red, so we'll swap it out. To be honest, if you only have a tiny sliver on them, the bonus effect you get is actually the main benefit from doing it. There are actually other methods of digging giant pits in Minecraft that can be really fun. Like, there was one I saw someone uh, do that was basically just like digging a spiral-shaped hole in the ground. 
that one is interesting because the fact that since you have a center point and you're digging um, concentric uh, circles, you're actually never going to be able to fall to your death in that one because of the fact that the floor of the pit slopes gently inwards. I'm genuinely not sure if I hit that or if there was just a void there. Also, this is a, a, an easy demonstration of the whole like grass propagation thing. That didn't have grass on it when I was here. However, the block next to it did. The grass propagated, and then the grass propagated again, and so on. And this one's in the red. Now we merge them. And we get something that's less in the red. You know what? That's actually solidly in the orange, so I'll just leave that one for later. Yeah, because um, the whole merging shovels, you want them to be less than half. But... And as long as they're less than half, it doesn't really make a whole lot of difference uh, how badly damaged they are. As long as they don't completely break. You get something out of it. And yeah, this is basically what we uh, live for now. We... The actual amount of time that it takes to fully dig a hole like this is phenomenal. Like, um, yeah, there's stuff to be said about how, you know, doing it with certain methods is quicker and easier. It's not actually quick or easy. It's just less difficult and less tedious. Which is part of the reason why a lot of people don't bother doing this kind of mining in Minecraft. It's the boring kind of mining. But it's the kind of mining people actually do a whole lot in real life, because in real life, mining is often about bulk material extraction, and the whole point of mining it was to get quantity. Okay, this is weird. This is something that you normally see when they're, like, I don't know. I guess, like, it's telling me that those blocks uh, don't have water inside them. Hmm. But it's not doing that for this stretch here. Interesting. don't fully understand this. As for why I'm going all the way down here, making an open pit mine is going to go all the way down. So eventually I am going to need to put a wall here to keep out the water. I need a torch to have light to see from. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I wonder how much this actually. That actually uh, illuminates the area that isn't actually in line of sight of it more than I thought it would. That is interesting. It is actually lighting up down here. Ha! Huh.
All right, nearly ready. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ah, uh, kind of. And now we need to do all of those for the next layer over. Now we shovel. Honestly, measuring this precisely isn't actually that big of a deal. The, the real goal here is to just dig a giant hole. The specific dimensions of the hole really aren't uh, all that important. It's the size of the hole that's the, the big deal. Whether it's 40 in, uh, blocks or 41 blocks, eh, whatever. And now that uh, watery area has been filled. Probably, I think. I'm not really sure, honestly. Hmm, I may have counted uh, going back one more than going out. Oh, well. It's. And now comes the part where we, huh, to be honest, that actually can happen just because random pockets of water are totally a thing in Minecraft. Why they exist? I don't know. Some anomaly in the uh, way the game generates maps, I suppose. Or is it even an anomaly and just a feature I don't understand? Hard to say. Now, one thing that is actually very useful is to place a grid of torches. Why? Because Digging a giant pit like this will actually result in you having an extremely dark pit if you just dig a hole. The center will actually be dark enough for monsters to spawn. Anyway, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And torch. Now, if we move this out of the way, this should actually oh, Ha! Did I count that one wrong? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so all of those torches are one block uh, too close to, to where they should be. Oh, uh, well. Doesn't really make a huge amount of difference. Actually, you know, let's let's double check and count this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I ain't that get that checked out. Oh well. So much uh, land. And now comes the super tedious part where you basically just dig and dig and dig and dig and dig and dig and dig. The other thing with this kind of mining and the reason why I have a chest here is that your inventory will fill up several times. And also the reason why I have a, a crafting bench here. This way, you can put 
place boxes to store things. Like, okay, is there any dirt in here? Yes, actually, there is dirt. Okay, take the dirt out of there. I will put nothing but dirt in this box. Why? Because I have that much dirt. I mean, simple as that. This box currently has, you know, weird random stuff in it, so I'll put the flowers in there. Eventually, after you're doing this long enough, you will end up in a situation where you will have an entire box of nothing but sand. Probably more than one. And so on and so forth. And giant hole becomes enormous. Eventually, going down, you will end up running into caves and have to figure out how to dig through a cave because caves are a void. But, you know, if you're going to go all the way from the surface down to bedrock, hey, uh, that's a thing. I mean, you also might run into a lava lake. No telling what you'll encounter going down like that. Which is part of what makes it fun, honestly. It's just time-consuming kind of fun. Like, super time-consuming kind of fun. It's like, yes, I will do something that is fun. Well, I spent uh, hours benching out, staring at myself, doing stuff in the game. Yeah. Anyways, though, um, this is over 20 minutes, and I barely uh, uh, created the perimeter for the open pit mine. So, yeah, I'm going to call it here, because, let's face it, taking all the way down to bedrock will take several hours. And I don't feel like doing a single video recording of just that. At any rate, though, I think I've demonstrated the idea quite nicely. Now, I can just keep doing this and just keep digging until you get all the way to bedrock. I've actually never finished one of those. I really haven't. The one I started on uh, DM James's server, I actually started with an area that had a mountain made out of sandstone. I got far enough that the mountain was gone and there was a square hole in the ground where the mountain used to be, but I didn't get the hole down particularly deep. At any rate, though, Cliff of Concept, yeah, I guess I've done that. Proof of whether or not you personally will think it's fun. Yeah, I can't make uh, any uh, claims on that. Some people would find this mind-bogglingly tedious and literally want to do nothing over doing this. Eh. Different people have different ideas as to what constitutes fun, I guess. Mm. Oh, well. Yeah, it's a very uh, interesting thing. Different people have different responses to what they perceive to be monotonous. And to some people, repet repeatable results are enjoyable. They don't like uh, needing to wonder whether their actions will have the effect they want. 
knowing that something will come out a certain way makes them feel good about doing it and thus they will prefer doing that over something that is more exciting because the thing that makes the other thing exciting is not something that the individual considers to be good, beneficial. And this, make repeatable results is entirely the uh, point of this. You know what's going to happen when you back the uh, dirt with the shovel. And in this case, I have just cut away a hillside. Yep. The one side here is sea level because that's a river, blah, blah, blah. Surface water level over there. That's the surface water level. This is not. This is actually, I think, like four or five blocks up from it. And I'm going to have to actually do a, do another entire layer to get down to, uh, or two or three layers, actually, to, to get to, to surface water level. And then just keep going layer after layer after layer after layer, going down, down 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 now one quirk of these that you can do is to build a staircase into the wall and for that purpose i'm going to um dig around here she's like for here we'll have this as the uh designated way out because it's where we have our base camp so we're not going to remove this block however this one and all these down there sure but now later on, we're going to do an, another one going this way uh, again. I see it's like one block, one block stairs, except that this side, we're going to um, have that completely whatever. Because this is, this side will have stairs. It's just at a much, much lower level. like so on and so forth you can actually do stuff like making proper like stair uh, cases too and, and actually install proper staircases in uh mines like this i've actually done that in some of them because of the fact that the way your character animates when moving on stairs is more smooth and fluid Also, due to the way I place things, I have to get that out of the way. All right, so. Blunk. Seeds. Seeds go in the, in the bin of the flower stuff. Alrighty then. Dum, dum, dum. Blunk. 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 See? Smooth fluid. And this is the start of an open pit mine. Several hours later, you might find something interesting. If it takes that long. I genuinely don't know what's underneath here. And I won't know until I actually dig the mine. Alrighty then. Well, that's enough for this. See you guys later.